Ladies and gentlemen, Six Fig Stock Trader here on YouTube. Today we're talking Bitcoin, Voyager Token, and CKB, but not necessarily in that order. Market's tanking. Let's figure out what's going on. So welcome back to the channel, everyone. We are looking at a weekly chart of Bitcoin. Now, no matter what holding you have, whether it's Voyager Token, CKB, whatever, you need to watch this TA on Bitcoin to get a general understanding of where your asset could possibly be going. Now, we will get into depth on CKB and Voyager Token in just a second, but we need to understand where the market is at first. Now, for the last couple months, I've been kind of telling everybody, hey, this is the Bitcoin history for price action historically the last three or four bull runs. 2013, price action came down after making a new all-time high, got a single bounce off the 50 moving average before slipping into a bear market. Now, we also saw something very similar. 2017 and 18, we saw a new all-time high. Price action came down, bounced off the 50, slipped into the bear market from there. Now, we didn't see a new all-time high back in 2020, but I suspect that this price action was just delayed a little because of coronavirus, obviously. Still, we saw price action come down, bounce off the 50, and go into a little mini bear market before we saw this huge run-up. So with that said, where are we now? Well, we can see Bitcoin made some great new all-time highs. Price action has come down, bounced off the 50 moving average, and this is where we're at now. And at this point in time, I'm not going to assume that Bitcoin's just going to magically reverse and head on up to 300,000. That's ludicrous to me. And I'm not calling anybody out. But with that said, I think a retest on the 50 moving average at about the $38,600 level is in order at this point. Uh, we've seen Bitcoin go from 55, 57,000 down to 29,000 in like a week back in May. So whether or not we see some huge bull or bear candles here uh, is anybody's guess, but the tables turned back in early September. We got the doji star. This indicates that price action is going to reverse. Now we're seeing these bear candles appear on the weekly chart. And this is significant because this is a weekly chart. It takes, takes a lot to sway these kind of candles. So Bitcoin is going to have to close above $53,000 to basically erase these two bearish candles here uh, so i'm not seeing it there's really no catalyst saving excuse me saving bitcoin right now but let's look at this on a daily chart now you can kind of see these ending diagonals that formed in the market and this latest ending diagonal i've been warning everybody about since august 6th but we can see some similarities between the ending diagonal that stripped Bitcoin of its momentum back in April. We can see how price action fell out and we kind of got a little kind of bounce here and then we really fell hard. Well, we've kind of fallen out of this channel. We got a little bit of a bounce and now on the daily chart, we have poked the cloud and we are now trading within the cloud. So Ichimoku trading like this is a bad sign. Uh, to see for price action. So where is Bitcoin headed next? That is the million dollar question, literally. Let's throw up a little Fibonacci retracement here and just kind of see where we might be able to predict that this thing goes. So interestingly enough, on a short-term scale, we have come down and hit the 61.8 and kind of pulled back on this daily. But I have been warning people for the last two weeks. I said, be very careful. Go back and watch the videos. That we will see price action manipulated in a way to lure this 50 moving average and price action above the 200. And I said, B 
be careful because the manipulators might try to death cross this chart. And that's exactly what they did. So that's not a surprise to me that this has happened at all. And it shouldn't be to you if you've been watching this channel. Where's Bitcoin going now? Well, the 78.6, a popular uh, you know, reversal point for uh, market makers. So maybe 37,000 if Bitcoin cannot hold its ground around 43,000. So this is going to be very important uh, for Bitcoin to stay above this 43K mark. We're $700 away from it right now uh, to the plus side. So that's not good. Uh, but, you know, 37,000 might be the next stop down, obviously. This thing can keep running downwards if it wants to, but for now, we'll just say 43K. If it goes lower than that, you might see a little hang up around the 41.2, $37,000 level, probably, possibly within the next week. Nobody knows at this point in time, obviously. So that's kind of where the market is going. It's very very uh very much clinging uh to fingernails at this point you know it's like hanging on the edge of a cliff by your fingernails and they're about to rip off so let's look at ckb here oh man i tell you what bitcoin always crashes the ckb party the last time ckb had an amazing run-up march april and then bitcoin tanked and absolutely put the brakes on ckb so the last i don't know month we've had this very nice ascending triangle in the works uh, for that matter it was looking really good we can definitely see how we are no longer in this ascending triangle anymore and we have now breached the lower portion of this ascending triangle. So what's going to happen next? Well, that's anybody's guess. So let's just go ahead and look at a quick four-hour chart. And we will draw up some Fibonacci retracement levels to see where this thing might be headed to. And you can see over the weekend, we had really nice pump. Really a nice pump. But... Uh, we hit up on this uh, 38.2 line. Uh, this would be an extension on the 38.2 is what I'm referring to. But, uh, you know, on a retracement schedule, we nudged up against the 61.8, which is a very, very powerful Fibonacci uh, resistance and support level. So we almost, I don't know, triple top this with price action, couldn't break through. So now we're heading down to about 0 0.011564. Possibly there is a little support floor here at or around 0.0137-ish. And we can see this just based off previous price action. Had some support here, 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 and a little bit currently. So with that said, uh, I, I as much as anybody would hate to see CKB drift down to this 0.011564-ish level, but it might be happening. It's something to mentally prepare yourself for. If we see some sort of reversal in the next day or so where price action just does a 180 on CKB, look for anything above 0.0186. We could get above this number here, we might be fixing to go up higher, but it's unlikely with the way Bitcoin is at and where we are at in the, the market cycle. So the 78.6, uh, you know, this is a common position where traders will reverse, meaning if they are buying puts or selling puts, buying calls, selling calls, they will reverse right around this time frame and look for uh, a market trend back in the opposite direction of where they were just coming from. So that'll be interesting to see if CKB comes down to this 0.011564-ish level. It might be a good time for people to uh, accumulate some more. Ultimately though, I mean, man, if we really see the market wet the bed, uh, we will probably see sub-penny 
and possibly uh, maybe 0 0.005 to 0 0.007 would be an honest estimate. Obviously, nobody knows, and I hate even speculating on prices like that. So CKB is still looking good. Uh, I mean, that's that's good. We can see that through the Fibonacci channeling. Uh, we are still well within an uptrend. Even though we come down and hit the 78.6, as long as we can reject this lower trend line of this channel to move higher, that is all I really want to see. And in the bigger picture, if you want a bullish scenario, you know, we may be seeing something like this form on a grander scale, and we may be in the works of creating some monstrous ascending triangle for CKB. Only time is going to tell, and we need to see what happens down here at this floor if we go down there. So, with that said, that's CKB right now. Let's go over to Voyager Token because I know a lot of people are invested in Voyager Token. And the thing with Voyager Token is I've gotten some comments here in the last few days. Okay, the loyalty program uh, gave some cash back to some of the uh, holders of VGX and people that traded within the crypto.com app. So that was more than likely this little spike here that we saw. But when we see these little one-offs uh, occur, usually it's just a single instance and we do not see uh, a concrete price action reversal from a one-off like this. Now, if this is going to be paid out once a month, twice a year, whatever, around that time, we might see one of two things happen. A pump like this or a drop like this, meaning people know that the rewards are coming, price action gets baked in, and we see a dump. So uh, this isn't surprising to me to see Voyager token kind of trend back downwards. Uh, let's look at the four-hour chart. And we do have a little bit of some hesitation on this 50 moving average. Uh, we can see on a two hour chart that this thing may come back up and test the $2.88 level. Like I said, this is all contingent on Bitcoin as well. And I would love to see Voyager token come back up and test this $3.43 level. I know there has also been some speculation on a token burn. Now there, uh, you know, the exact number remains unknown at this point in time. At, at least to my knowledge, it could be out there. I did not research it. I should have before this video, but I did not. Uh, one thing I would like to see Voyager token do from here on out is to form some sort of ascending triangle uh, starting now. So I want to see another run up to this $3.40 level and I want to see it play within this little ascending triangle formation here. This is its best bet in my own opinion for future bullish, bullish price action. So if we can stay trading in between the $3.40 level uh, to $2.50, I'll just go $2.60 level and progressively see this lower uh, low get higher uh, that would be a wonderful thing for Voyager token because we all want to see this thing hit those uh, new all-time highs new price discovery uh, with that said though uh, Voyager token is being impacted by Bitcoin unfortunately and we have to really understand that uh, you know we could very well come back down to this two dollar and thirty cent level or lower so if Bitcoin gets really nasty, uh, you know, like I said before, I have removed my dollar sixty-five uh, buy-in to Voyager token because uh, I'm worried about what could happen next if Bitcoin really starts tanking and dragging the market with it. Uh, I hate to say that, uh, but you know, Voyager token is kind of trading sideways still, even after this pump. Uh, who knows what's going to happen with that whole coin burn. If they postpone the coin burn for some odd reason, 
Uh, we may see price drop once more because that could have been baked into the price action already. So I don't know, folks. Voyager Token is a good company. I do believe in it, but uh, this is kind of uh, not looking good on a grander scheme uh, if we fall below this trend line here. So with that said, I'm going to end today's video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys uh, pay attention to the market right now because uh, Bitcoin is uh, doing some really funny things, as we all know. Uh, we woke up to this nasty little correction this morning, and we have a bear leg with a symmetrical triangle forming which leads me to believe that we will come down for a retest or pass through of this $43,000 level. So that's all I got for you. Huge shout out to all the Patreons. Thank you for supporting the channel. If you're interested in becoming a Patreon, it's three bucks a month. There is a link in the description below. In addition, you can get your name, YouTube channel name, or business name up on this banner. I wish everyone the best of trading. We'll see you guys tomorrow.